Well, it is Wednesday, and that means we have our plant and garden expert, Craig Hignite, joining us in the studio, taking your questions through the WQAD Facebook page. So let's kick it off with Bonnie. She says, uh, my lilies of the valley are overwhelming my backyard. How do I get rid of some of them? Okay, the, about the only way to get rid of the lily, lily of the valley is to go ahead and dig it up. Uh, you could mask part of the bed and use uh, a herbicide on the other part. It might kill a little further into the bed because they're all connected through the rhizomes under the ground, but digging is probably the best route to go. Find somebody that wants to start Lily of the Valley in their yard and give them away. There you go. And Lionel asked, I'm looking for a natural ant slash pest repellent for my home. Is there a plant that can draw ants and or other bugs away from my home? Not that I know of. I mean, ants, every now and then I end up chasing them around the condo. Um, <laughs> you know, but as far as a natural repellent, there are uh, plants that will repel flying insects, but nothing that I know of for the uh, ants. Okay. Uh, Lisa's asking, is baby sun rose a perennial here? Baby sun rose? It, I assume that we're actually talking about a rose being a common name we don't actually know. Maybe uh, you might uh, look it up on the internet, but uh, if it's a rose, most of them are uh, hardy in this area if you treat them properly and make sure that you mound them up during the winter. And Becky asks, where can I safely move my houseplants outside for the summer? I'd like to, I'd like to see temperatures consistently above 50, 55 degrees, and that's, and that's pushing it a little bit. Remember that when we take our plants out, they've been in the house all winter, they will sunburn. Um, you know, they aren't used to that bright sun, start them in the shade, and the ones that can take it, slowly move them out into the sun. Okay, uh, Jeannie is asking, how effective are miracle Grow sticks in your house plants? Should the plant stem be moist at all times, and how long do they usually last? Well, you would normally use uh, the uh, plant sticks about once every uh, two to three months. Have to admit, I'm not thrilled with them. The plant has to actually go out and find that uh, um, food stick that you've put in, and you've lost all control of your fertilization. But uh, the important thing is read the label. And from Carl, I hope I'm saying this right, is it too late to put pre-emergent, is that, on my lawn? Well, we're right at the cusp. I would say if you're going to put a pre-emergent on, I'd get it down now. Uh, it, you know, it, it's been uh, a week or two since the indicator plants have come into bloom, so I would be getting it down as soon as possible. Uh, Lois asking, can I get my Easter lily to bloom again? Easter lilies, when they're planted out in the garden, you leave the stem intact, you plant it about four inches deeper than it is in the pot right now, and quite often they will rebloom re again later this summer. And Kim says, I have a flowering plum tree that was not planted properly and it's been leaning for two years. I tried a stake with tension and it hasn't helped. Should I cut it down? No, if it's only been in the ground for two years, you could go ahead and literally lift the tree. You're gonna put it through damage, just like the tree was dug up in a nursery and straighten it up. Um, and it, it, no use cutting it down. Put a little physical effort into it, lift it, and reorient it. Uh, Karen, uh, supertunia bubblegum blooms are uh, blooming profusely. Do other uh, supertunias also do this? Most of the, uh, uh, the uh, proven winners line bloom very well, and there are many other varieties that, that aren't proven winners with excellent color. The important thing is, Keep that fertilizer running. You want to use a bloom booster on all of your flowering plants every seven to 10 days. I usually just do it three times a month, the first, the 10th, the 30th. And go ahead and, uh, you know, if it's raining, you go out and fertilize anyway. Do not miss the fertilization on these plants. And Rick asks, is the ground warm enough to germinate sunflower seeds yet? It's a little early. Uh, I'm sure things are warming up uh, very quickly according to the, the way this weekend's looking. I'd wait until about Mother's Day to put them in the ground just to hedge your bet. Perfect. Well, we are going to get more questions answered after this short break, but if you have another question, get it. go to the WQED Facebook page, put your questions in the comment section. We'll be right back. <laughs> 